My name is Samantha Myers. My name is Michael Brenner. My name is Simi. I'm 13 years old. I'm 11 years old. I'm 20 years old. And I have familial dysautonomia. It's the orphan of orphan diseases. We are their lifeline. They are tireless saints. We are always there for the families. The purpose of the Dysautonomia Foundation is to pursue medical treatment, research, public awareness, and social services for the benefit of people with FD. Having spent six months going to every specialist in the New York City area, et cetera, to try and figure out what was wrong with my child, walking into the Dysautonomia Treatment Center was like um, you know, crossing the River Jordan into the Holy Land. Without Dr. Axelrod, we would not be here at all. Jack would not be here. Um, hmm. A child who was born in 1970 only had a 50% chance of surviving past their fifth birthday. Today, an individual born with this disorder has a 50% chance of reaching the age of 40. You see, people with FD have a set of very very uh, peculiar problems. They have problems with their blood pressure, they have problems with their kidneys, problems with their breathing, problems with their bones. And although there are similarities between patients, there are also differences. And each of them is it's his own, his or her own individual and has a very specific pattern of abnormalities. Some kids don't eat at all, some kids eat everything, some kids drink, some kids don't drink. There are certain things that I'm not that I can't that are hard for me to do, like run and walk. I have to eat my tooth, I always put drops in my eyes. I have to get very close to friends so I cannot see everything. I get tired very quickly and do not walk for. Sometimes I feel so sick that I'm going to pass out. I could go blind if I don't do eye drops. I could faint if I don't drink a lot. There are also certain foods and drinks that I can't have because they could turn into liquid and get into my lungs. The Dysautonomia Center has had a significant impact on the health and welfare of these children. We are always there for the families. In the middle of the night once Perry needed to go to the emergency room and Dr. Axra was standing there waiting for us at NYU's emergency room holding the door open because she wanted to make sure that my daughter got the proper care even in the emergency room. I go to the center and see the doctors. I feel like they're going to take care of me. They try and encourage me every, every day to do what I can do uh, to function well. You knew them for so long, they feel like part of the family. It's not like people with FD have other places to go. Other doctors don't know about this. It's not part of normal medical school training. It's, it's the orphan of orphan diseases. And since there are so few of us, and since so many of the experiences that we share are so similar, we'd like to reach out to one another and find out how did you deal with this, or what would you suggest? We've been really good at preventing new cases of FD through public education and screening. And we've been able to let people with FD live longer lives. That's given us a new adult population. We're starting to see new problems, uh, which we did not see before. So we've conquered the issues of the child, and now we have to meet the challenges of the adult. This is a degenerative disease, and they don't have the time for us to proceed slowly and we must increase our research and apply those findings as quickly as possible. My family would not have survived the last 18 years without the FD Center and the people that are there. If there would be no center, then um, there will, will be no one to help us. I think every minute of the life is important and that you should celebrate it as much as you can. I will never back down for me to decide to know me because I am a tough fighter and I never give up. My parents would always say, I know it stinks, but you have to, 
You live and you learn. Because you'll never know what tomorrow will bring you. It may be a test or it may be a fun day. You may never know what it will bring you.